Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So on the Zen market we have a bunch of sales and some returned events you can make the most of. Let's cover them all in this video. So for this week you'll be able to go to the event section of the Zen market and buy out previous battle passes that you may not have made any progress on in the past. You can see all those battle passes in your journal here in campaigns down the bottom. You have past events. This time around, you will be able to go and buy out Draconic Rage, Roth Valley, North Ark Divided and Echoes of Prophecy. You can see that via their blog of Ghosts of the Battle Passes Past. Echoes of Prophecy is all there with the following rewards, then Draconic Rage with all their following rewards, Roth Valley, and then North Dark Divided, which is the more recent battle pass. Let's have a quick look at the different rewards from those battle passes, and maybe there's one or two you do want to pick up. But if you do want to buy the unlock to that battle pass, you'll only be able to do so within this week. So from this Thursday till the next Thursday, and then it'll be gone. You won't be able able to make any progress on them other than actually buying them out. What this means is you're buying the progress points and the premium pass in one pack. They've changed it a little bit from what they've done in the past. For example, North Ark Divided. I never got the premium pass and I didn't finish like most of the parts except the last one and so getting this buyout I have a 47% discount of the progress that I have made so the more progress you have made in the past the cheaper it's going to be it's going to go all the way down to the base cost of just the premium pass which is originally 2500 zen since I don't have the premium pass but if we look at a different buyout so for draconic rage where I did actually get the premium pass it's right there premium task unlocked but I never completed the last part that was because I got a buyout in the past which then I went and completed the second part to get this pack here and this one here but if I want to go get it now all I'll be paying for is the progress on the first part and the progress on the last part i'm not actually paying for the premium pass that i've already paid for so that's kind of smart in that regard and you'll be able to do it with the other battle passes but having a quick look through them the oldest one is echoes of prophecy and the unique reward from here is this mythic mount and barbed neverwinter lion it's not really of any use to be honest you'd only get it for the cosmetics and then in the first part you could get the neverwinterian hawk that's about it that was unique for this event other than the neverwinter knight so you would get echoes of prophecy to be honest just for the Neverwinter Knight and the Hawk. But there is something better than the Hawk. We have the Roth Valley Battle Pass then, which I would recommend getting just for the first part for the Dragonfire. It's an account wide belt item which does a ton of damage. I recommend it highly for tanks for threat and for damage dealers for just raw damage. It does a ton of damage. You can use it every 30 seconds just like this. You breathe fire on your enemies and they burn for 10 seconds and you deal quite a significant amount of damage. On a tank, it can actually add up to more damage than any of our other abilities. A bit ridiculous, but it allows us to generate a lot of threat through it. Outside of that, North Dark Divided was very underwhelming. I wouldn't go for it at all. No point spending the Zen on that. Yes, it has the ability to get the Dragon Fire via this pack here, but it's not account wide. You're better off getting Roth Valley for that account wide version. And lastly, there was Draconic Rage, which Yes, has like the, I believe the Icosahedron Ion Stone, but again, that's not too great. I would get it if you want the Lich account wide companion just here for your tanks. So again, just a quick overview, you'd get Echoes of Prophecy for the Neverwinter Night, listed at over 5.8 million on PC, Roth Valley for the Dragonfire. That's it. If you missed out on those items, you want them as account wide versions, that's probably your cheapest options right now. To get those, you'll get a bunch of other rewards with it as well. Like me, I won't see the buyout for Roth Valley because I have fully completed it and got the premium pass for it. Other than that, we have 20% off most of the supplies here, excluding the refinement items there. I personally would not go for any of this. You can get all of these items cheaper off the auction house. So this week we also have a bunch of events that I think you should take advantage of. 
Right now, we have the Day of the Dungeon Master. I recommend you keep making your daily progress on that. I've been lagging behind personally. But make sure you minimum get your 14 day completions and get your token of achievement. If you do get 14 days of completion before the event ends, then every other completion will give you a token of challenge, which you can spend for on other rewards like overloads and legendary insignias. Participation tokens you're spending on like upgrade tokens for the most part. Just pick up your daily quest here from Portobello and go and do one of the queues from the event any of your pleasing right here we have a new one which is artificial's workshop you can go and experience that i personally just go with trial of the traps and get through that nice and easy but then we have times two legacy campaigns here you can make twice as much progress on yes those legacy campaigns right there dread ring storm king's thunder so on all of these you can also spend genie gifts on these legacy campaigns right there and you will get twice as much currency by doing so this is the time you would spend your genie gifts this would be the time you do your campaigns those legacy campaigns mainly just to get the boon points yeah you like jungles of chalt you're gonna get like eight boon points here storm king's thunder seven of them and those boon points you'll just get some small stat bonuses and some benefits there i don't really recommend like spending excessive amounts of zen to get completion tokens for those they're really not worth it don't don't get buyouts here not worth it at all just go do your quests there and just take it slow and you'll get progress on them eventually but we also have times to seals this allows us to do our random cues allows us to do our heroic encounters to get twice as many seals you get those seals here you can see 80 of the seals from our trial queue 120 from the advanced dungeon queue 60 from skirmish queue and 100 from the random dungeon queue i believe it's actually bugged out right here the advanced dungeon queue should give seals of the dragon and so should the trial queue and you'll spend those seals at a seals trader if you're vip you can summon one otherwise you can go to her in various zones and you can see the different gear you'll obtain most of it is just stepping stone gear You'll just get it for the item level, but the boots are significantly useful for giving you the massive amount of ratings. And the Seals of the North, again, it's just gear here. You can get a weapon set. It's again, just stepping stone stuff. Bonuses are not too great. Recommend looking for other options. You'll also be able to go do your dragon hunts and get the dragon seals twice as many in those chests as well. And most importantly, you have the Reaper's Challenge and you'll be able to get twice as many Reaper Marks from within there. Those Reaper Marks are very valuable. We can spend them to get legendary account-wide mounts and companions and then greater shards for upgrading collars along with some trade bars and upgrade tokens. And on top of that, we have Dungeon Delvers, which gives us double the chance to obtain premium rewards. Premium rewards are like your upgrade tokens, trade bars, genie gifts, mounts, companions, and there's a few other things as well. There are some rewards which will not get doubled. They're not considered premium rewards. And those would be like your artifacts, your neck and waist pieces that you could get from that certain content, along with like these rings. They won't be dropping it at any higher chance. They're not considered premium rewards. Just be aware with Dungeon Delvers, you will be running content, opening chests, and you want to be having that key to open the second chest. You get the key mainly from the Wondrous Bazaar right here. These skeleton keys, make sure you have some astral diamonds as they are well worth to buy every day. You are limited how many you can get per day. You can only get five. Again, those keys you will be required in many, many dungeons, trials and skirmishes to use it to open that second chest to get your extra rewards. You ha do have greater demonic keys that you can use on like Prophecy of Madness, Skirmish, your Throne of the Dwarven Gods, Demogorgon and Demogorgon Master. You can see all right there in the tooltip. But you can buy this, this key as many times as you want. So there's no need to buy those until you actually need them. Skeleton keys, again, you are limited five per day. If you don't have a backlog of them, 
be sure to keep buying them even though you're not running lots of content because there will be a time when you are running content on one day and you might run more than five times and then be missing some keys and that can just be a bummer so hopefully this has been somewhat insightful you guys again the opportunity is there to buy out those previous battle passes you won't be able to make any progress on them by playing the game. You'll only be able to spend the Zen and completely buy them out. That's it. So massive thank you again to all these channel members for their continued support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.